This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Back to when we were doing promos in the back. I always call it promos in the back. Local promos back in Jim Crockett Promotions Garage. Magnum TA never, never broke character back there when he was on camera. He never laughed. He ne no one could. He would always stare. He was always serious, always so focused. But one time uh, he had a cage against, uh, it may have been Nikita, I don't know, okay, uh, in a town. And first of all, he brought in Jimmy Valiant. And so let's bring in, first of all, Jimmy, the boogie woogie man, Valiant taking on the barbarian. Here's what Jimmy does when he comes in. He goes, and walks out. That's what he does. No, no English. He just makes noises. Magnum steps in and starts to do his promo and it broke him. He just laughed and laughed and laughed. As a matter of fact, we stopped down for five minutes because we were all just freaking laughing about Jimmy Valiant. Yeah. What could you do? Yeah. What, I mean, what could you do? That's just the type of character he was. He was just, I mean, he was, he was, again, we talked about him being that old hippie that say, Hey, oh, hey brother, how you doing? Good to see you. And then when the camera was on, he was somebody else. He's ready to go. He was ready to go. But he, uh, he's the only one I ever saw break Magnum because Magnum was so focused and so intense and, and, uh, and so tremendous. And, and the man we're watching right now, truly one of my favorites of all time. Really? I mean, I, oh yeah. Baron Von Ra I mean, look, uh, my fandom goes back into the seventies when Baron Von Raschke and Greg Valentine were the world tag team champions uh, in the mid Atlantic region. And they had a run against Paul Orndorff and Jimmy Snuka. Hmm. It was a, it was a great feud and Orndorff and Snuka won the world tag team belts in the Richmond Coliseum. And I was there when they beat Von Raschke and, uh, and Greg Valentine. Now they probably won it again the next night in like Greensboro or something. Right. Right. Uh, th th which they did that, but I didn't realize they did that, but they did that at times. Um, but, uh, yeah, Baron Von Raschke is part of my fandom, buddy. When they, here's the claw, when they turned blackjack Mulligan babyface, which was one of the biggest things ever in mid Atlantic championship wrestling. One of the guys they sent out as a, uh, uh, as a heel after blackjack was Baron von Raschke. And we were, we were in the Richmond Coliseum, me and hippie. I was one of my friends, hippie. You know, I had a lot of friends, hippie, scrunch, rat. Or hold that thought. We're going to be back in just a <laughs> okay. minute. But. Nikita Koloff, you know, Nikita, I'm just as proud to be an American as you are to be a Russian, but it's something that makes us a little different. You now you can make all the threats you want from way across the water, from somewhere far, far away. But when you come up front, come right in your own backyard and tell us Americans you're going to take some away from us, then you're going to bring out the fight in us. Now I've listened to your talk about the Kremlin's orders to take the U.S. Heavyweight Championship just about as long as I can stomach it. Now I called you out right here on television last week. And what did you do? You didn't jump. You didn't come after me. You didn't do anything, but I jumped because I'm tired. I'm sick and tired of hearing all this idle talk. It's time for this battle to get going. It's time for us to sell this issue once and for all. Now, you're a real tough man. I've seen you out here. You like to finish off your opponents after your Uncle Ivan's already got them beat half to death. Well, you're nothing but a big, tough bully that likes to pick on people, and I'm not the man that's going to run away from you. Now, you're real lucky that a lot of people came out here on this set, pull us apart. The only reason they did that was because they were afraid we are going to destroy millions of dollars worth of camera equipment. Well, there have been a lot of things destroyed that day, I guarantee you that because it took all these people to separate that battle, and this battle will not end, will not end, period, until I put you away completely. I'll send you back to Russia any way I have to, but you're not taking the United States Heavyweight Championship. Nikita Koloff, make a real place. This is the man who spells the end for you. Get ready. It's time for our world television title match. Big match here. Arn Anderson going to be defending his TV title against Ron Garvin. And uh, we just heard from Magnum TA. Magnum was, was not kidding around, man. He's trying to bring the intensity. He can do it, man. That's one of his uh, hallmarks. I mean, he looked good. And you know what also he did that Nikita Kola didn't do? Wow. He took his fucking shirt off. I don't know what. <sighs> yeah, Nikita Nik 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 shirt off. Yeah, of course he should have. But I think Nikita's right now kind of enamored. 
with a lady. And if you think about it, even if, if he's enamored with a lady, he still should have had his shirt off. Yeah. I don't disagree. If you, if you look like that, right? Talk to me about Magnum here or not mm-hmm. Magnum, but, uh, Arn Anderson here. Mm-hmm. He's got the, the TV title. He's wearing the old Anderson boots. Uh, I think I have a pair of those within reach. I can't believe it, but, Oh, really? I'm, uh, becoming a bit of a boot collector trying to uh, dress up my backdrop here. When you see our video on adfreeshows.com and a pair of Anderson boots are on the short list because they all were in that classic design. I mean, you grew up with those with mm. Ole and Lars and all the, all the guys, right? Gene. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.